So given this diagram, we've been asked to find the distance from Atlanta to Raleigh to the nearest whole mile. We have Memphis, Raleigh, and Atlanta. You're given that Memphis to Raleigh is 665 miles, Memphis to Atlanta is 300 miles, and that Memphis is 15 degrees. The angle between Memphis, Raleigh, and Memphis, Atlanta is 15 degrees. Okay? So given this information, they want us to find the distance from Atlanta to Raleigh. So we want to find this distance right here, okay? This side. That's what we're interested in. Now, we have to look at what we're given. We know this side, we know this side, we know the angle between them. What is that? It's a side angle, side triangle. Side angle, side triangle. And given a side angle, side triangle, we should use the law of cosines. So if we know we should use the law of cosines, let's go ahead and write it down and work the problem. But before we do that, we need to label our triangle. The easiest thing you can do is just pick letters, A, B, and C, that match your formula. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this known angle, angle A. I'm going to call this one B, and I'm going to call this one C, A, B, and C. And of course, if this is angle C, this has to be side C. If this is angle A, this has to be side A. That makes A our unknown, and this has to be side B. So our unknown is side A. That's what we want to find. So I write the law of cosines. There are three formulas. I'm going to write the one that has A solved for. A, e, a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cosine of angle A. And if we write this down, we see very quickly that we can plug these numbers in and come up with our answer. Uh, I don't know a side A, so I'm going to leave that as a variable. Side B is 300, so this will be 300 squared plus 665 squared minus 2 times 300 times 665 times the cosine of 15 degrees. Now, at this point, what I'm going to do is just plug everything into my calculator. I'm going to plug 300 squared in there. I'm going to plug 665 squared. And I'm going to multiply all of these numbers. So I get A squared equals uh, 300 squared is 90,000. 665 squared is 442,225 and then 2 times 300 times 665 times the cosine of 15 is 385,404.4. Now, uh, real quickly, um, you notice I only took this to one decimal place. They ask us to give our answer to the nearest whole mile, which means we should go one more decimal place than they ask for, or, or more, but the minimum of one more decimal place than they ask for. Well, they ask for no decimal places. So if I carry everything to one, that should be sufficient for my answer, and you can keep more if you'd like. Uh, now I'm going to basically just add these three numbers together. So 90,000 plus 442,225 minus 385,404. And I get A squared equals 146,820.6. And then I'm going to take the square root of both sides, and I get A equals 383.2 miles. And of course, they said to the nearest whole mile, so I'm going to round that down. So from Atlanta to Raleigh, is 383 miles.